Hello everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Il y a un mille jours, j'ai fait une vidéo à sujet de mon arbre français au Duolingo. Kono video wa Nihongo no Kinitsute des. So, a thousand days ago, I did a video about my French tree and Duolingo, and it actually got a lot of views, so I decided to do another one for my 1500 day streak, which will start today. And this one is about the Japanese tree on Duolingo. So first of all, uh, I have to do this uh, Hiragana 1 lesson. Uh, hopefully it will be simple. And then as you can see, the entire tree is all gold. Uh, and there's the one uh, lesson left. So I'll do both of them. And hopefully get everything correct and get some people inspired to learn languages on Duolingo and everywhere else. So let's start. Roku, six. So not much commentary so far, it's just simple exercises. I hope I'll be able to say more in the last exercise. All right, great. So now we're, that we're done this one, and there's the five, uh, 1500 day streak. Unfortunately, I think it doesn't add lingots anymore. Uh, but yeah. Uh, all right, so let's do it. Shumoku ga taksou narimasu. Shumoku means event, so I guess there are many events. Um, that's a sentence structure. Um, if you want to say something that there are many of, it's like something taksan um, But you can also say it in a different way. Olympic Kaijo Made. So, doyatte ikimasuka is like how you get to something, and kaijo uh, means uh, venue, I guess, in this context. So, how do you get to the Olympic venue? Yeah, okay. There are lots of events. We had this before, so it's shumoku ga taksanarimasu. Oyogu mai ni ni. Maini taiso shite kudasai. It's really hard to read these without kanji. It's actually easier to read with kanji even if you don't know like half of them. Uh, having no spaces in kana is so difficult for someone who doesn't come from that part of the world like me. But uh, we'll try anyway. So I guess it says uh, do something before swimming. And uh, taiso is gymnastics. But I would assume from the contents, uh, context that it actually means like stretch. Uh, and we'll see. Swimming. And uh, it says, please, yeah, it should say please, but uh, please warm up. I think that's almost the same, but the, the dictionary hints are definitely missing, so I'll report that. Uh, continue. I will be in the Olympics. So, Olympic uh, ni. What is it? Sui-e? What's Sui-e? Demasu? Riku-jo? I don't know. 
none of these are uh yeah well we need maybe exit the olympics means i'll be in the olympics figuratively let's try it oh well yeah but that's not very helpful i guess it's a japanese sort of expression that uh th this expression demos is like uh, to leave something to exit as far as i remember so Olympic ni demas, it means I'll like leave the Olympics, but I guess it means I'll go out to the Olympics or something like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they don't explain this one. Olympic ni demas, that's the same one that we had just now. Please do a warm up before you swim. Uh, so we had that one too. So it's oyogi ni no mai ni. Or uh, oyogu mai ni um, taiso. Taiso was it? O shite imas. Shite kudasai. Okay, next. How do you get to the Olympic Stadium? We also had this one. Uh, they tend to repeat in the Japanese course much more than in the French course or other courses I did. Um, how do you get to the Olympic Stadium? Olympic no... Uh, I guess they don't use no much. Kaichu. Kaichu, was it? Yep, Kaichu. Made. That's two, in this case, until. Uh, do ya... So how do you go? Do yatte ikimasu? Ka. Ka is question mark in Japanese. Shumoku ga taksan arimasu. So uh, again, uh, there are many events. We had this before. Uh, and I think... Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't repeat, but there's, I think this is a bug in the PC version, in the mobile version, it doesn't happen. That uh, many of the exercises in new ones just repeat themselves for no reason. So I guess I'll just uh, put the same stuff as before and hope it, I don't forget anything. Uh, maybe that's how we learn, yeah, by repetition, even in the same exercise. Olympic kaijo made doyatte ikimasu ka? Sense. How do I get to the Olympic Stadium? Unfortunately, there's just a repeat. Shumoku ga taksan There are many events. That one was like three, four times already. And now, as you noticed, probably just repeats uh, the same sentence. This is definitely a bug. Um, I almost never used the PC version for Japanese, so I wasn't really uh, aware that it was still happening. I thought somebody just fixed it and noticed, but I guess not, so I'll report it later. But for now, I'll just, uh, uh, just copy and paste the answers or something. Oh, well, that's like at least not the same one. Uh, that's because I got this one wrong. Uh, please uh, warm up. It, it said warm up before. Uh, please warm up before swimming, or it was before a swim, I think, but it, this should be the same. Yep. Okay. So. So that's the final lesson. I learned Olympics, great.
I got two lingots uh, for uh, this lesson. And uh, the achievement, which is like have all skills golden at the same time. I actually had this with French, but that was before the achievement system uh, and with Ukrainian. Yeah, so it's great to see this. And now hopefully we'll see the final owl for the course completion, um, which is at the bottom. Yep, so this is the Japanese owl. Uh, it's great. 1500 days on Duolingo. It's been a really long time and I'm still learning. I mean, uh, the courses, uh, not every course is the same quality, unfortunately, but the ones that are uh, high quality, like uh, French, and even the, uh, I tried doing the Russian and Hebrew courses, even though I already speak those languages, just to see what the courses are like, and they're extremely high quality. I ha highly recommend them, especially the Russian course. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this video was uh, inspiring or even a little bit interesting to anyone wanting to learn more languages uh, and especially Japanese. By the way, Japanese, many people think it's extremely difficult and I agree it's probably more difficult than French for an English speaker to learn, but actually it's, uh, it's not horribly difficult. I mean, uh, the, the reading is actually, uh, especially Kana, uh, is very easy to learn. You can easily learn Kana in one or two days. Uh, and after that, it's just uh, the structure Japanese is very logical. So it's something that I definitely recommend learning for people who are interested in Japanese culture. Or uh, I know like when I was uh, a teenager, I watched anime and read manga a lot. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, definitely if you do that and uh, you're interested in reading or watching the originals. I highly recommend uh, starting to learn Japanese. Uh, unfortunately, this course is very short, as you can see. It's probably like, I don't know, one fifth of the French course, um, maybe one sixth even, but still it's a good starting point. After you finish this course, you can sort of understand the structure of sentences in Japanese and continue from there. Cheers.